Here we go again. Here we go again. The little culprits, those damn little cruise automatic uh, autonomous vehicles or those Waymo vehicles. Massive accident. I hope the person um, is not too severely injured. But, you know, car without a driver hits a car with a driver. They're just not ready. And if you watched my interview with Legal Right, she even talks about like, wait till things go wrong. And like 24 hours, they went wrong horribly, right? And he was saying like, who's going to get sued? Everybody's going to get sued. So they are just not ready. We need to get them off the streets. It's a disaster. I've made a video against the CEO of Cruise and against the CEO of Waymo. Get your damn cars off the road. You are killing people. You're killing animals and you're killing people. Enough is enough. So robot taxis are an existential threat. Yes, they are to San Francisco's public trans transit system and to other cities. Um, the Breed Administration is ignoring perhaps the most dangerous impact of the new autonomous vehicles as one Robo taxi after another either seizes up blocking traffic lanes or with increasing regularity rams into another vehicle. The breed administration's primary position appears to be that we need more data. Oh, we need more data. We need to collect more data. Oh, you, what you're basically saying, we need to kill more people, right? Before we come to any policy decision about what must be done to address the massive deployment of these autonomous vehicles on our streets. Mayor London Breed, usually not shy in seeking public attention on policy proposals she feels are popular, is uncharacteristically silent on this key issue. What are you doing here, Mayor London Breed? What are you doing here? You're allowing this filth on your street and it's killing people and it's killing animals, right? Uh, she's uncharacteristically silent on this key issue and has no real policy proposal to make about the deployment of driverless cars on the streets of her hometown. Content to have bureaucrats write letters. Sue the bastard. Sue her. Sue everyone there. The city attorney has now called upon the California Public Utilities Commission to vacate its decision to allow unlimited deployment of robotaxis until the city can argue its case again before that body in the light of continued failures of these driverless cars. They are failures. We cover that in that show. I'll put the link below. It's watch the show with Brian Greening and Legal Rights here. We have a great discussion about robo taxis. Both Governor Newsom and the city's tech movers and shakers are in strong support of the immediate and massive deployment of this new technology. Obviously, because this asshole is cronies with all of these CEOs with these tech companies. That's where he comes from, right? Um, the mayor needing both in what is shaping up to be a tough re-election campaign. Let's vote her out. Vote that trash out. She does not belong in there. Seems to have lost her voice on the policy impl implications of 10,000 or so driverless vehicles. But perhaps Mayor Bree didn't read the letter sent in January because the bureaucrats, while using the politest of language and while calling only for more data, in fact, laid out a rather sobering picture of the impact of these vehicles already have on the operations of the already heavily stressed public transit system. Skilled, public, spirited bureaucrats, and they are such people, know how to give their political leaders what they want while serving the public good, right? So get this trash, get Cruz, get Waymo off the streets. This needs to stop. And vote her out. Vote this trash mayor out. Get her out. She has no clue. She doesn't care about the drivers. She doesn't care about, uh, you know, humans. They're just not ready. She does not deserve that position. Vote the trash out.